All right, so uh, hello YouTube. Uh, I'm here on Twitch with my dear Twitch followers. We're gonna watch now together the grand finals of the Electric Clash. We have JDCR versus Shadow. None of these players need any introduction, but the reason I really wanted to see this was because people told me JDCR brought back his Heihachi. So he did not play Armor King, although I love watching his Armor King. Anything but Dragonov. <laughs> Dragonov is cool, but Heihachi is such a technical player that it's so much more fun when he plays Armor King or Heihachi, but especially Heihachi. And during the Tag 2 era, my god, his execution with that character. And then he kind of lost it a bit in Tekken 7, where, not early days of Tekken 7, but like 2018 there, every time he played Heihachi, you could see that almost 50% of the electrics were dropped or sluggish in execution. Suddenly you see him get down twos, down forward twos, and you're like, this is not Heihachi I know. But people have told me it's like he's back to form. So I have not watched this. So JDCR versus Shadow 20 Oz. Uh, yeah. Grand finals. Uh, and a big congrats for to Shadow for reaching grand finals and get to fight JDCR. Must be really cool. He's a great player. Uh, wow, does not opt for CD44 1 plus 2. Uh, I guess he went for Oki. Uh, but this is a strong start to round one. Oh, nice homing there. Uh, but he has, uh, JDCR still got a big life lead here. Block down forward one, two. Oh, blocks the down to two starburst. If that would have hit, uh, Shadow would have, would have taken that round. Uh, but unfortunately, well, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of rooting for JDCR, although Shadow is the obvious underdog here. But I just love JDCR. He's a very cool guy. I don't know many other people who could go on and, you know, for four years be the undisputed champion of Tekken and still be humble as fuck, travel all over the world to anyone who would invite him and just try and show uh, different communities, you know, uh, worldwide what it is, what Korean Tekken is. And he did that. And he's the only Korean to do that. So you gotta give him... A big thumbs up. But okay, he's up two rounds here on Shadow. It's looking pretty... I mean, I, I was gonna say it's looking pretty bleak for Shadow, but this is JDCR. Um, so pretty even, a little life lead here for JDCR, who is uh, throwing electrics like his old self, I see here. Very fast and precise. Ooh, nice. What is that string? Is that down for three one? Okay. Oh, Shadow gets a uh, very much needed round. Nice. Ouch! Big whiff punish. That's gonna be wall. Oh god. Oh no, the side wall. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you side wall. Killing more comebacks than AIDS. I mean, I don't know how many times I've been wrecked by a side wall. It's always so frustrating. So, in, in a grand finals, in a tournament of this scale, you know, it, it must be... Oh. God damn, I mean JDCR, I've been following this guy since like 2006, he's always looked the same, it's like he doesn't age at all, it's kind of spooky. But he does have to make the run to reset the bracket oh, if he yeah. wants to win this tournament, so it's going to be a long road for him versus Shadow's 20Z from Disrow. 
Here we go. Bang. Just like that. Put your word here. Four forward two. No punish on that. Pretty far pushback. So, not sure where Kukadi can get off of it. Big counter at down for two. Good start to this match here. Nice. God damn. That move is good. He knew JDCR just wanted to step, step, step away from the wall. And he just fucked him up. Good start by Shadow. Big whiff on while running too. What an electric punish. Still quite even. Nice block. Nice punish. Throw break. Come on, Shadow. The people want to see a fight. Come on, Shadow. He can't punish? 4 4 2? Well, that's gonna do it. It's so nice to see Heihachi back. JDCR is really the. If you think about it. He's the only player to put to put Heihachi and Armor King on the map competitively. He's the only player. So we should all be so thankful we have JDCR because it's so much fun to watch these characters. But yeah, it's looking very bad here for Shadow. One more poke and this is the round. That's it. Yeah, that was insane. Perfect punish. Ducks the high, electrics. Yeah, these electrics are crazy. Huge with punish. Oh, drops the combo. What can Shadow do here? <laughs> wow, <laughs> you see the relief on JDCR. <laughs> or, or, or it's like super warm. But what, what do you do like when you get outspaced like this and with punished with electrics? And he goes for Claudio's pretty good low. Is it down 4-3? It's a, it's a low into a high? Yeah, that one. But then... <laughs> You would think it's good versus Heiachi because he doesn't have a wild standing launcher. So what does JDCR do? He ducks it, ducks the high, and then he stands up electrics you before you have time to recover. And it's like, yes, about that. Okay, so life lead here on Shadow. Can he close it out? Get a much needed round here in the third game? <laughs> Good night. Nice suit. Oh my god, this this is this is a train wreck. Oh my god. He has his timing a hundred percent downloaded. Don't get launched. Do not whiff. Do not whiff, sir. Do not whiff. Nice hop kick. No! <laughs> You're kidding! No! 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 no. no. You had it! What, what, wait, well, wait, wait, reset. 
This is where it all begins. Reset. Woody Anna come out. Do you think her? JDCR was in yeah. losers. I didn't even check that. I took for granted he was in winners. Did we just hear that? Just I, 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 I looked I away for a second and I just did I miss it? <laughs> oh my god. It's a new set. Birth of three now. Everyone's now in losers. Everyone's lost at least one. Shadow put him in losers. Let's see the Anna mix up. Oh yeah, the Anna. Two O. Oh god. Yeah. Wow. That's true. And it's like at this point, right? He did. It just looks so one-sided. Okay. Dealing with a lot of his stuff, and it's like the switch off might give him a breather. Worst comes to worst, it's a breather, and it gives you seconds to get off that character. And if you have to come back to it, it's fine. Right? Got a game to spare. So here we go. Heading into G. Shadow two O in his armor king. Very interesting. But now he brings out Anna. Wow. It's really cool to see someone bring out Anna because she's so. And she she's very underused in tournaments, and it's because the character doesn't work competitively. She's very bad. Uh, like busted hitboxes, super unreliable hitboxes. Uh, high risk, high reward. You can't really stay safe with Ana. Uh, but man, it's very brave uh, of Shadow. And I, of course, I've never seen him play Ana. He might be a god with the character. But uh, wow, JDCR uh, resetting very convincingly. God damn, nice. Well, of course, I mean, if if the Ana stuff connects, it does damage. And this is this goes for Heihachi as well, as you're about to see now. Kablam, sixty percent. And now wall pressure from Heihachi. That's always a blast. <laughs> I don't know many characters that are more obnoxious when you have your back towards the wall. He actually is pretty bad. I mean, Jack is arg arguably worse. Oh, and Akuma. Let's not forget Akuma. Nice, down for one, too. I mean, he has a round here. Oh, down back two, down back two. Even in health, come on, Shadow. Nice. Ooh. Wow, Anna seems like a good pick after all. Oh, that's gonna get punished. With. Ah, down back two. He's getting a lot of mileage from those down back twos. Oh, what a step. Shadow, a believer in the general rule, do not dock Heihachi, which of course is um, correct, but yeah, when you get bombarded with those lows like down back two and the sweep, it start, it's, it adds up quickly. <laughs> you would never have thought Shadow put JDCR in losers looking at this domination. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. So I was, I was so surprised to see that. Oh, that was a reset. I hadn't checked at the top who was who came from winners and losers. I just took for granted JDCR uh, had gone undefeated, but Shadow put him in losers. And then JDCR switches back to the old man, Iron Grandpa, and uh, wow. Um, he, he must be playing more now. Maybe, maybe he's motivated again. He didn't play a whole lot in 2018, but now there's so much money in the prize pool that perhaps JDCR is uh, putting in the hours. The electric sh sure makes me think he is because it's looking very crisp. Wow, nice combo, and you're done. Oh, the bin. That, that's a good idea. That's what I do as well. Oh, that's a drop. Down back two. Is he going to do down back two again this round? I'm guessing so.
That's what I'm talking about. Like, you see with Anna there, that's a great homing move. It's really, it knocks down a normal hit. It's super good on block, you know, it stun locks them. It's a great homing move. Heihachi has no wild, easy while standing launcher. So it's an even better move suddenly because who's gonna crouch it and then stand up and electric you, right? And then you're, you play against JDCR. It's so fast, it might not look like much, but that is just execution at the very, very, very top level. To be able to do that in a grand finals, just like that. Nice combo. But that's the thing, you know, uh, a lot of people versus Heiachi players, if you know what you're doing, you will start abusing those kinds of moves, you know, highs that are very strong on block, that are usually duckable and easily launchable. You abuse those versus Heiachi's, beginner, intermediate, even high level, because zero Heiachi's almost literally will actually crouch, cancel, electric you to punish. But when you see it, how she do it so reliably, it's like, it's, it's, it really is incredible. So I, I, I think even Shadow is probably taken aback by that, like, what, how, he's punishing so perfectly. I, I usually get away with this shit with Anna, like, what, what's, what's happening? Um... Yeah, Ducky, what's up, man? Yeah, I think uh, the bigger prize pool in Tekken World Tour has probably amped up the motivation to a lot of professional players. Uh, I mean, they were passionate about the game before, traveling all, all around the world for peanuts, you know, Rangchu getting $7,500. So now that the prize pool is what? 20 times bigger? I don't know. It, no, it's not 20 times bigger, but. It's many, many, it's multiplied plenty, plenty of times, you know, so now people are more interested. <laughs> exactly. Usually only EU play like this. So JDCR 5-0 now, he only needs one more match. And Shadow has gone again with Claudio. E exactly even in health here. What can Shadow do? What can Shadow do? The problem with Claudia is that you really don't have any lows to threaten anyone with. That's what you need. Oh, what a heartbreak. What a heartbreak. I would just give up now if I was Shadow. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Where's my cheese baga? Yo, Benny. Bring me my cheese baga. Oh my god. So Claudio can't punish 442. Oh. Oh no. And you're at the wall. Just just have Benny give you your cheese bug. You're not getting out with your life. Doing well though. What the fuck? And he gets the round even after that fuck up. I mean, what? Is this him saying, Go with Benny, you're free as fuck. Have Benny give you your cheese bag. <laughs> Is that what he's doing? You're so free. I'm gonna unblockable you for the finish. No, I, I think he messed up. JDCR never does uh, bad, bad manners. He messed up. But I can't believe Shadow didn't kill him here. He has so little health. Oh, 
I get a sidewall combo. That was the problem. I mean, of course, this is hindsight, but he sidesteps here. If he hadn't sidestepped, he could have just hop kick killed him. <laughs> Imagine doing that enormous fuck up with that little health. You survive due to a sidewall, and then you get the round anyway. God was uh, God himself pointed to Shadow this day and said, "You shall not win any Tekken tournaments." Oh, it's looking good. Come on, Shadow. No, ro no, he's dead. So no, no round brown at least. Nice. Nice round. Ooh, this is rough though. Can he get a match? Oh my god, not like that. Whiff a half kick into a whiff punish. You can't whiff versus JDCR's Heiakushi. You just can't. He will clip you with an electric. No matter from how far, you know, from the other side of the stage, no matter how far away he is, he will fucking nail you with that electric if you whiff. Come on, man. At least don't eat, eat a rage art. Be careful. You can't whiff. You can't whiff. Look at that fucking spacing. And then he just drops the controller. Rage Art hasn't even finished and he's like... Uh, great matches, but yeah, very one-sided. Um, apparently JDCR figured that versus Shadow he should be playing. Hey Hachi, and uh, looks like that was a good call. Uh, wow. But it's really nice to see that JDCR say actually seems to be back to form. He looks uh, as sharp as ever with those uh, electrics. It really brings you back to Tag 2 days where, where he would dominate. I mean, almost. Almost the movement combined with Heiachi's electric, that alone carried him, I think, to like 70%. Just moving around, clipping people with uh, electrics. Who whiffed? And his, his movement is so clean. Uh, good, really good shit. He's a beast.